gitu hmm. Hello friends Can't excuse the mess behind me <laughs> We can pickles outside because It's smelly <laughs> Um So ah, Stick in the yard because of the dogs Um Since we are going to be leaving this house I figured it would be a good time to um, do kind of a mini tour um, just a little bit here front porch living room you know um, we I never have I keep thinking I'm gonna do a whole house tour and then I started packing and I'm like oh I've never shown people a lot of the home <laughs> so let me back up let me flip you around and I'll show you our little house that we've loved for a few years now uh, you can see the flower beds are dying out. You know, it is that time of year. Some green ornamental grasses. This is our great big garden. That over here is the pumpkin patch. I hear our dogs everywhere jumping in windows. All right, gonna come up to the porch. plants on the way. I keep my herbs up here and this is actually my poinsettia from Christmas. <laughs> She's still doing well. Um, I think I have dogs so sick particles are always on the porch. And I got more herbs up here. This is my favorite place to sit. This blind keeps getting stuck here. I like to sit here and watch our horsey out there and the side. You have to excuse some of the mess again. Like I said, I'm going through lots of stuff and organizing so the trash cans aren't flowing. But, and we're canning outside. I bought a car. There's our horsey. He's looking at me like, what you doing? Bring me carrots. <laughs> carrots are his favorite. It's my favorite place to sit. Just outdoor supplies and a radio and lantern and the broom broke so I told Scott I was like I really need a new broom and so he bought me this <laughs> this is my new broom broom 2000 I don't know what we're gonna call it our big fern more herbs there's some seeds growing in some of those as well and some that I've already harvested and are probably about done for the year Here is, like I said, my favorite place to sit. It's right over here. <laughs> you hear lots of thumping. That's our dogs. Like, mm, all right. And I got a spider web right here. That's lovely. I'm gonna get knocked that down. Every day, there's a new one. Every day. <laughs> our front door and I made that little basket the howling is <laughs> our other dog in the backyard if you can hear it she's half husky and howls all the time and open this door and I'm gonna turn the television off all right all right we're back I turn the television off so no noise and here is our home um <laughs> we're not going to show the kitchen I, I already took down the artwork on the wall and I'd already started packing and like I said I'm always working and canning in my last video so I'm making more jelly so that's more harvest on the table let's see if I can put you out there we go and this is what we see when we open the door. I will walk over here. Here's this wall. You hear panting and barking. 
That's our dogs. <laughs> we have three. Why? Hence why the sofa is always covered in blankets and messy blankets at that. One perches up here. One prefers to lay here. And then one prefers to lay back behind the couch. And I see they've eaten some tennis balls. Lovely. All right. And over here is this little area. I have the windows all the way, blinds all the way open because it is wonderful outside. It is like, I think it's the 70s this morning, which is amazing for July or August, July. There's two of our dogs right there. That's Daisy Corgi, and she is 16 years old this November. She's doing well for 16, aren't you, Daisy girl? <laughs> uh, they've chewed something up. <laughs> I'll clean that up in a minute. And this is Jade, and she is one, Black Lab. And the one howling crazily is L.E.R., um, German Shepherd Husky Mix. So, like I said, this is reality of our dog situation. And this is an odd little thing back here. And I do, I go to school, so online. So um, this is my little school station area. And uh, odd corner to decorate, but I do the best, right? And those candlesticks need to be fixed. Doggy jumpins. Make them crazy. <laughs> and the other side of us is what you've seen a lot of is our dining room. Um, and now I will get to the thrift haul. I just wanted to show you guys the house. Plus, I figured, you know, it's probably good to have it all documented as far as how the house looked when we were living here, right? Since it is a rental, we will be giving it back to the landlords and, yeah. <laughs> Dogs, you know, reality. And this wall once again. It's a mismatch of both our things. <laughs> this middle part, of course, is something I decorated. And I put one of his cowboy hats on there. Um, he it is doing this and that. And that's what I agreed to. I'm like, all right, we'll do half and half then. Because, you know, it's his house too. He has to live here. Hence the saddle in the... <laughs> middle of the house right that is our horse's saddle <laughs> in the house <laughs> all right i'll get back with you at the thrift haul this is our bins this is how packed it is in here it's probably very hot i don't know over 100 degrees in here because of all the people i can't even move down the aisle because it's clogged up Hey guys welcome back um, I'm gonna show you my thrift haul now I did go with my oldest daughter to the um, Goodwill Bins again and even though I won't be staging my decor right now um, because you know, we're moving so it'll get washed packed away cleaned up packed away whatever it needs to be done and um, I'm gonna show you I'm still gonna go to the thrift store I'm still going to gather things, either for my future Again booth, which if you've listened for watched my videos, um, my booth did close because the building was sold, and so the business owners rented the building. The building sold. The business owners did not want to start all over again and rebuild all the booth spaces, and so they've just decided um, they're done. So... Um, my booth is not happening right now. I will find another one, but um, I'm going to get, of course, moved and married and or married and moved or whatever um, order that ends up going in. But um, yeah, I'm going to take care of all that first and then I will work on getting my booth back up again. All right. Oh, itchy leg. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to show you what I found this week. Um, I went twice, but I'll do the second, um, I'll do a second haul. I baskets. I love these baskets. Pour up towels and put in them. That's usually what I like to do with this size. I haven't had one for a while. I sold my last one in my booth, so I decided I would 
just get another one, right? Um, and I've got a couple other baskets, just some small. Like I said, I'm going to be moving, need organizing. It's got a little broken piece on it. That's fine. It doesn't affect the structural integrity. So just little stick stuff in them, soaps or organizing something in a bathroom maybe or in my pantry maybe my spices i don't know how my new pantry is going to be if there's going to be a pantry if i'm going to have to build some racks somewhere to accommodate our food stores um, i'm not sure yet um, that goes in my next house I'm over there i have some large um, large Christmas toy soldier, like doorlings or whatever that <clears throat> I have made. That were in my booth last year. That'll be on my house this year, possibly. And I still found him. I was like, oh, he is like a miniature. We must buy him. <laughs> Somebody made him. He's he's cute. I figured he'll look nice at Christmas. Oh, here's these baskets close up as well. Just normal baskets. And this right here is linen tablecloth. <laughs> um, it is hand embroidered. Let me show you that. Hand embroidered. It's lovely. All the way around. And this will, I, this is beautiful for fall. You know, this is going to be my fall tablecloth. And there's the underside where you can see all the knots. That will be nice. Love that. Beautiful tablecloth. And yet another basket. This in store they wanted $2.99 for this so I got it at the bins and it's not even a pound so it was probably like 75 cents just again a basic basket oh um Scott appreciates anything cast iron <laughs> so I've started buying him the um I don't know the cornbread molds or whatever so we have the bread or the corn cobs i'm sorry the corn cob mold and we also have the um a one that has like stars and hearts and this week i was able to find him fish <laughs> very unusual very heavy but that'll look cute i think hanging up i'm trying to um build him up a little display for all his cast iron collection and we can put in the kitchen. You know, I'm trying to, I am desiring <laughs> copper pots and pans to hang. And he likes cast iron. So we'll just mix them together, you know, mine, his, ours type of situation. My hair is still wet from taking a shower. I have to excuse it. Um, let's see. Big piece of fabric. I thought maybe I could use it for Christmas. Somebody. I believe it turned it into a curtain at some point in time, so I've hemmed it. Um, and maybe it just was a piece of curtain, but it looks like it was it's handmade. I can tell from the stitching. Somebody ran it through their sewing machine. But just some red and white ticking fabric. Be great for the upcoming holidays, maybe make something out of it. And for fall, again, I found this rug. It's like a rag rug. Nothing special. It's wrinkled from being folded, but it is not dirty at all. And it looks brand new, like nobody ever used it. Brand, brand new. I can't find a spot on it anywhere. But I thought that would be amazing um, for fall, maybe in front of the sink or stove or, um, I don't know. I don't know what our new house is going to be, so <laughs> I'm only speculating where I would like to have it until I see actual 
um, place these proportions, um, room placement, etc. for the new house. And we have not found one yet. We are still looking. We had a couple prospects, but as of right now, no one has contacted us about either one. They said it took them a minute to get back to us, and but it is nerve-wracking um, not knowing where we're going to end up at. Um, we're we are going to be purchasing a house, but in the area we're wanting, it's not feasible yet. So we're going to try to rent again for a year or two, give it that long to hopefully we can find somewhere in, in the area we want to be at kind of the price we want to pay. And that's another thing right now is um, around us, prices are starting to fall a little bit. They, we are seeing lots of reduced signs, but it's still not where we need it to be and to make it so we're not house poor, <laughs> if you understand. Um, we don't want to have, you know, our whole income going to a home right now. So we just want to keep saving. So we decided that we're just going to find um, a rental. And the ones that we have found so far, oh, my hair is tickling my nose. I'm sorry. I can't find it, but it's there somewhere. The ones we found so far, um, they are going to be cheaper than what we are paying currently. Oh, Alright, so enough of that. I got two more things to show you and then we'll be done. Um, it's really wrinkled. <laughs> Little apron. Um, apron. I, I bake a lot. This is like cupcakes. I'm always, I stress bake. <laughs> so right now, you can imagine, all the neighbors have had zucchini bread and banana bread and I'm getting ready to bake a cake for another neighbor that said that they would be, I'd bake, bake the same cake before, and they're like, oh, I really like that cake, and I'm like, oh, you did, <laughs> because we don't eat a lot of, believe it or not, we don't eat a lot of sweets here, but um, I also have to do, I have my stuff sitting out again to do more jalapeno jelly, I'm going to do cowboy candy, I've got more squash and zucchini to put up, I'm hoping to go to the um, local um, fresh vegetable marketplace and get some um, onions because I'm going to do caramelized onions and maple onion jam to put away as well. And the last thing I got from the bins the other day was this larger basket. Um, again, I'm always trying to think storage. I don't know how much storage the new place is going to have. Um, if we end up not needing it again I can save all this for my booth it can just go in there uh, my booth will be very um, cottagey this next time I think uh, this last time it was more very much um, European French country I'm but I'm trying to go for a more cottagey more homey comforting I think as of this moment, who knows when I open it again, <laughs> what it will be. Um, so that's all for my thrift haul today. And thank you for coming and looking at my home before we leave it. Um, yeah, it's kind of sad, but we are moving on and, and God must have a new plan for us. All right. Well, thank you guys. You have a great day. Um, you guys go to the bins? What's the best thing you've ever found at the bins? If you go to the bins, let me know below. All right. Bye, guys.